Hi, welcome to DataWits. In this video, we will learn about how to create a butterfly chart. This butterfly chart is also known as tornado chart. From this graph, we can see this is uh, something like a butterfly or tornado. That's why it is known as butterfly chart or tornado chart. This is not an inbuilt Excel chart that we can directly create by going in insert option and in this chart uh, panel. But we need to uh, create some workaround to create this butterfly chart. So first understand uh, when we are uh, creating a butterfly chart. So whenever we are uh, trying to compare something before, after or some two different parameters for anything, we need to create this butterfly chart. So right now we can see that we have a data of some KPIs. Uh, any anonymous KPIs, KPI 1, 2, 10, and we are comparing before and after data. So, this is our original data. After that, we will create some padding, you know, some space uh, for before and for after, and there is a gap. Gap, uh, we will fill this KPI in this, you know, gap like here. So, we have given some number 25, approximately one uh, fifth of the graph that uh, this number uh, will come here and before padding here we can see that uh, the maximum number is around 95 98 so we have taken a particular number uh, 100 approximate and we deducted this 100 minus after and same 100 minus before so we got a pad you know some extra space there so now i have the whole data here so first we will select this then we will go in the insert option and here we will go in this bar chart bar stacked now i have a graph first we need to arrange these uh, column names so we will go in the select data and in this select data we will first move this before padding at the first space then before then we will put this gap in the third then after then putting padding after so this value has been arranged now we can see our graph uh, has changed so first we will select this space for padding after padding and we will go here and there is no fill same we will do for the before padding and we will create no fill then this gap here uh, it is no fill now after creating this no padding areas we will go in the gap and in the gap we will put uh, data level so here we got the data level and now we will select data level just these values 25 and then we will go here and now we will select category name so now this kpi that is here it will also reflect here this 25 value we do not require here so we will uncheck this now i can see that uh, kpi1 kpi2 are here and this kpi is not required right now so we will go uh, in this option then here label and next to label as none so it is now clean now the question arises that this value is something 0 to 250 it is not like uh, 0 to uh, 99 or 0 to 99 so we uh, need to uh, use this label i forget to say earlier we have bifurcated x axis as uh, 25 50 75 to 200 200 means approximately the highest value that we have taken here 100 into 2 because we will bifurcate 100 and 102 different values 
so whenever like it is the highest value here is 200 then we will take 400 we will bifurcate it as a 400 then there is a level so we have taken level to bifurcate two different portions 0 to uh, 75 and then 0 to 75 we will keep 0 to 75 then 0 to 75 we can change this value also depending on our requirement so now i will select the chart here and uh, in this chart we will go select data and here we will add first we will add this x axis in the series name and then in the series value we will select this value now click after clicking we find that this value is coming like this so we will select just this these values and then right click on this change series chart here in the x axis we will change this stack chart as this scatter chart and then click ok now i see that uh, this value is coming like this again we need to modify this so we want we just wanted to put these values here in the x axis so we will right click this and this time just select this value then right click then select data in the select data i find every value here so i will go in the x axis then i will edit this value now i get this x axis y axis series name will remain the same so we will go in the x axis and we will select this value 0 to 75 200 sorry and in this y axis we will select this level now click ok so we see uh, these new values are coming like this so here we can see that uh, this is the axis value that is coming here now select this axis value and go in this axis option in this axis option we will see that the highest value is 80 we will uh, increase this to a very high number so that this uh, you know uh, value will flatten down to the to the straight line so here let us suppose we keep 10,000 as a value now we can see that this has been flattened out so this has been almost an straight line so now the turn is to move uh, this value out so that we do not require <laughs> this value so we will again go in the label and we will change this as none now now we can see that this value has been moved so we will select uh, this uh, value and we will change the series values and we will go here and this data label and in this data label we will select below now we can see that values are coming in the down side so now just two things is left we will remove this value again we will go in label and in label we will select none so this value has also moved out now there are few values that is not required just we need before and after so either we can do it manually and the last thing is moving this out so we will go here and the, in the marker we will fill no fill and in the border no border so this graph is now ready this is a butterfly chart as you can see so all axes are showing and every axis will start from zero to further value whatever value you will put right now i have put as 75 so it will go zero to 75 so i hope uh, you will like this video thank you for watching this video please share
this video to others also and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much